in the previous video i explained with a diagram how an auto transformer is and in this video i want to be showing you a practical aspect of it This is a stabilizer transformer, century stabilizer. So I disorder the transformer out of the board. I say let me use this as an advantage also for me to explain how the transformer windings is. The transformer windings is an auto transformer. It's an auto transformer. And like as I explained using this diagram, Let's assume in I feed in 150, which is my primary, here and here, my secondary, and I took it from this neutral to the last line, to any of these tappings, depending on the voltage I want. From here to here as my primary, from here to any of these tappings as my secondary. And I decided to even come before here to take my secondary, it does not matter. That's how I use it to fix, to set stabilizer. Let's assume now my input voltage is 150. If I needed 180 volts at that time, meaning I will put my, my secondary line output to this place because it's 150 plus 30. I will get 180 here. If I need 210, I'll come to this place, 210. If I need, if I need 230, I will put it at this place but the neutral remain unchanged. I do not change the neutral. So this is an example of an auto transformer. So if you look at this auto transformer, like as I explained, let me, now, this is the beginning. This is the starting point. This is the starting point, and they now have to wind, 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 and come here as another tapping. If you watch, the starting point is just a single wire. The next one is this. If you look at it, it's two lines. Look at it, two lines. And you look at it, the wire is tinier. It's a tiny line. Let's be going. You will see the difference in wire. So from this one now to the next one. Help me with the cutter there. So look at it. Let me make it clear for you to see it properly. Look at this wire. This comes this way. It continues this way. It continues this way. It continues this way. So let me start again. From here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to this one. From here to this one. And from here to this one. Wow. 
this one they did not make it's as if they did not make any changes in the wire here they just use a simple gauge and did and do it let me see the beginning and the ending wow this one is as if they use a simple gauge let me look at it well okay this one they just use a simple gauge to do it just one gauge if not normally they normally use two set of coils two set of wires this this one will be tinier than this one which is the ending one so this is how it's being rewind from this to this 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 now let's power it and uh, let me see okay let me power this thing yeah is the ground mm. one thing i know that the next one here is 12 volts they use it to power the board so if i say let me power let me first of all measure my light here and see what am i having here as my voltage line is uh two two let me say two 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 six is generator so it's fluctuating let me say i powered this and this one two three mm, let me pick this one i know the voltage will be okay so please if you are trying this thing if if i say let me power the 220 here the transformer might be homing or it might affect the transformer i think let me look for a wider range so this is it let me power it and let me see so i've powered it So they just brought light. Let me check the voltage. Okay, the Nepal voltage is two or three. Now the two or three here. Yeah. I think you are seeing the meter also. So if I want to get a wider range, I will take this neutral and any of these tappings. Woo. See, you can see two five four two 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 zero two two five four two five five. Meaning the voltage from here to here is something like 50 volts. So, so let me go to the next one 280 something. Here is 250 something. Here is 280 something. Meaning the voltage between here and here is something 30 volts. Let me go to this last one. Woo! Meaning the voltage from this one to this one is something 40 volts. You can make your calculation. I hope you are seeing the voltage fluctuating. Okay. Now, let me choose a wider range. Why I'm doing all this is for you to understand an auto transformer, how you can use it. So let me plug it again and on it. So meaning, here is something 28 volts. Here will be something 250 something, yeah. So meaning, from here to here is something 20, 30 volts, from here to here, is something another 30 to 40 volts so i think you understand let's say this one is 204 i want to get lesser voltage let me power the stabilizer with lesser voltage i can bring in my output line and put it here 162 say 161 let me see how it goes if i say i want a lesser volts i will come to this place 
128. Let me power it. Think you are seeing what? Please, if you find it hard to understand it, just go through this thing time and time again. You will get to understand how it is. I've drawn it with a circuit diagram and I play it with a, a physical, with, with a practical stuff for it to see the voltage line that enters. So each of these tappings has a voltage across them. Let me check for that one I was telling you, it looks as if it's 12 volts. I think you see that one is 14 volts used to power the board. So since they are being linked together, each of the terminals have voltage. So you might just decided to say, okay, let me make some windings. Let me make some windings. Just make windings, winding, winding, bring out, winding, winding, bring out, winding, winding, bring out. Bring out as many terminals as you can. Just as what I did here. Now, let me take you back to my own. Back to what I did here now. All these ones are tappings. I rewind it. This is my grand. So here is one tapping. All this one is another tapping. So let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven tappings. Woo! And this eleven tappings. I can switch it like as if it's 15 tappings. I can switch it as if it's 15 tappings by switching it here and there. Now, this is what I did. I put a socket here where I normally plug the stabilizer. See the socket where I normally plug the stabilizer. That is it. So, I picked now all these simple tappings. I started doing the tappings here, yeah, 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 yeah. Tappings bring that, bring that, bring that, bring that. So the one that's supposed to come next in this one, I have to switch it to go and be close. I have an issue with then, so I have to switch it. So follow me in the next video. Thank you.